knowing that a high-rise building has never collapsed before. And now the sister building that we were in had suffered the same fate, but it got hit later than ours, had just collapsed. So I'm thinking to myself as he said that, he says, we're going to be lucky to get out of here. Guys, I want us out of here now. Pick up your stuff. We're heading out right now. Sal, your rope. The sheer terror that we're in this building. We're, we're dead men walking. The fire department's a, a semi-military organization, and you don't do things without orders. So I was basically self-evacuating. It was my instinct that I perceived the danger and I acted on it. What was that? It sounded like an explosion. Victor, you gotta be positive. We've got to go. In case you hadn't noticed, we're still only on the 36th floor. Well, that's only 36 more floors to go. Now, come on. I was never supposed to be here. What do you mean? Working here. My job, my life. Just pathetic. What, you want me pathetic. to go ahead and see if I can find a faster route? No, don't leave this. No, I won't, but we have to go. Now, come on. You think we're going to make it, Harry? Harry. Yeah. We're going to make it, right? Sure we will. Now, come on, you're gonna have to move, Victor. Oh. Get yourself up and let's go. Get on. Come on, fellas, keep it moving. Come on, guys, move it. Come on, fellas, keep it coming. Tommy Falco turns around and looks at me and he says, hey, Cap, what do you want to do with her? And I, I took a deep breath. And I was like, ah. Okay, let's give you a hand here. Come on, guys. We got ourselves a VIP to get down. Okay? You ready? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. And uh, people ask me, says, why did you do that? You know, you, you could have passed her by. Nobody would have known. I says, I would have known. And, and uh, the sight of her standing in the doorway would have haunted me forever. You can do it. Come on. Go fight. Or that they've been lucky enough to have made it out. I would have to say, at this distressing time, 
I can see a huge pillar of dust and smoke where one of the Twin Towers once stood. It's too soon to speculate on the full extent of their horrifying It was really, every fiber in your body is screaming. It was like, you gotta get out of here. You gotta get out of here. Oh, 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 you, you okay? You okay? What was once, we were almost like running down the stairs. Guys, make a space. Now our evacuation is one step at a time. Both feet on the same step, going very slowly. And now this is becoming like Chinese water torture going down the stairs. You know, the time, the clock is ticking. Okay, guys, take a rest. Josephine. Yeah. You want some water? No. Josephine. It wasn't a question. Drink some water. And I developed this, this trait of mine. Whenever a situation got more serious, I would speak more slowly and more deliberately. Because if the situation is that serious, you didn't need somebody screaming in your ear to add more anxiety to the situation. So I would try to diffuse that by speaking in a more calm manner. And I was at my calmest. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm gonna see if I can find us a chair we can carry it, okay? I mean, I think he felt he could do it. I mean, why not? I may be hurt, I may be tired, I may be burnt, but I'll get out. Um... Yeah. 